Hey Virgo, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. With that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into it, Virgo. I apologize if my voice is a little bit off. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I really wanted to make sure that you guys were able to receive your reading. All right. With that being said, top energy, it's the same deal, right? This is our twin flame energy, somebody that we're connected to that we're incapable of um, releasing and um, or we can release it. Right. But it could be that like we're in a relationship with them or we're just at a distance. Right. Bottom energy. This is going to be anyone new coming in um, new energy. And for those of you guys that are currently single and dating. All right, Virgo, let's get into it. All right, how does Virgo view their current romantic situation with this top energy? With this top energy, how, how does Virgo view their current romantic situation? Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius. You also have Sagittarius here. That's coming in heavy in Aquarius. So I feel like for those of you guys that are currently dealing with the twin flame, I feel like this is a situation that has held you back for a period of time, especially with the hangman here, the nine of wands. Um, it's almost like, I feel like you or your person is scared to let go, but there is something here that needs to be released because I feel like this relationship, it's like very sexual, but it's also hot and cold. It's like the closer you get, the further this person runs. And I also feel like there's a lot of lies and instability when it does come to the situation. There's a lot of hidden truths about why I feel like this person keeps you at a distance. And I feel like it may have something to do with their past and who they're holding on to. I feel like your person, um, Virgo, they tell you exactly what you want to hear or what you need to hear in order for you and this person to move forward. But I feel like it's never the actual truth. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting it very, very um, heavily. I also feel like too, there's a lot of lust, like there, there's a lot of sexual energy or, or, or even chemistry between you and this person. But I feel like the problem is there's just a lot of illusions. There's illusions with what's actually keeping this relationship suspended. I feel like there's distance in between you. You may even live at a distance from this person, but I also feel like they put distance. It's like they want you close, but not too close. That's coming in really, really heavy. And I feel like instead of there being a level of growth with you and them, it's like you take one step forward and you take three steps backwards. And I also feel like right now, you guys may be in some type of plateau with this person, some type of transitional period where you're waiting to move forward with them. But I also feel like there's some type of pause. I don't know if there's, there's a... Not, not only that, but I also feel like there's a lack of commitment on their end or your end. I feel like this person hides a lot. Like they live a double life. Like who they say they are to you is not who they actually are. It's like they want the world to perceive them in a very specific way. But at the same point in time, who they are at an internal level, it's different. And I feel like what they do behind closed doors is completely different than what you actually realize. Give me three more cards, please, with how Virgo feels about their current romantic situation with this person. Okay, the moon, like I said, Pisces energy, it's a lot of hidden secrets, right? It's hidden secrets, it's illusions, it, it, it's, it's like this person gives you enough but not everything, and it's almost like they trick you to feel like you're going crazy. I don't know why I feel like that, but I, I get the sense of like, you're going crazy and you're waiting for this person, but I feel like you're right there before you actually cut this loose. A mm. lot of Aquarius energy, Venus and Aquarius. I feel like right now, if you guys are not talking, it may even be a lack of intimacy. Venus and Aquarius tends to be a lack of intimacy. There's conflict, there's defeat, there's lies. Um, lies about what someone is doing right? It's like, this is a, this is an amplified energy. Um, it's amplified. And I feel like you're kind of taking a look or taking a step back and you're looking for a reason as why this is happening. Why does this person lie to you? Why does this person pretend like there's somebody that they're not? 
And I think that you're starting to see past the illusions. And at this point, Virgo, I feel like you're walking away from any type of instability that this person is giving you. Like, I think for you, it's like you're done with the confusion. You're done with the illusions. And I feel like you're, you're at the point where you're walking away or your person is. Like, there's some type of emotional gratification that you're getting from leaving this behind. Like, I feel like this person told you that there's somebody that they're not. And I feel like you did not expect being able to really walk away from them. But for whatever reason, it's like walking away as much as you felt like it would be difficult. Like it, like there's a level of growth that's coming here with them that I feel like you're least expecting it. That's what I'm getting. I also feel like you may have heard some type of gossip from this person. Or maybe right now you're just requiring a level of freedom. Because you just, you want more. You desire more here. The other thing that I want to note too is when you look at all these cards, there's a couple of things that are standing out very, very heavy to me. Um, there's no pentacles, right? So I feel like with this situation, there there's always been a lack of stability and a lack of commitment on their end or on your end. What about this new energy coming in for Virgo? What about this newer energy? How does Virgo feel romantically about this newer energy coming in? Okay, Eight of Swords, maybe dealing with a Gemini. Um, may have recently met this person online, online dating, Capricorn, Taurus, um, Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius. Wow. So I feel like for some of you guys, Virgo, this is going to be a brand new connection. Brand new connection. You may have not even met this person yet. Or there's some type of communication that's going to be coming in from this person. I think part of you feels like you're confused. I don't know why, but you may be confused about this person at first. But there's some type of connection here where you can't deny it. It, it, it. It's it's almost like this person fits you perfectly with the world. And I feel like this is this is a situation where you want to see where things are going. I don't feel like it's anything serious or a necessarily locked down commitment as of yet. But I feel like you're getting to know one another, especially with the page of wands. And also, too, like with the world here, it, it's it's receiving some type of information, right? Saturn energy. I feel like for those of you guys that did the right thing and walked away from this toxic energy up here, it's like Saturn's giving you a gift with this person. There's some type of beautiful beginning that's happening. And I feel like this person, you may think about them a lot. Can you give me some information about how Virgo feels about this person romantically? I mean, not romantically, how Virgo feels about their current romantic situation with this newer energy. Okay, death, king of cups, knight of swords. Some of you may be dealing with the Gemini or Taurus or a, a Libra, Scorpio, Scorpio or Aries. There's something here where like there's a brand new beginning, right? You have death. That's transformation. I feel like also, too, this is about manifesting, taking action, ending something that's no longer serving you, moving into a place where I feel like, Virgo, this person is very going to be very loving, very caring, very nurturing. And I feel like there's a lot of open communication where you both vibe, right? And there's a lot of action behind it. Like, I feel like this person is going to be somebody who they, they say what they do and they do what they say. And I feel like that's hard to find nowadays, especially with that energy up there. I also feel like you're going to be very attracted to this person and there's going to be a lot of intuitive energy and sexual energy behind you and them. And there is a potential for this person to definitely be um, a soulmate or even a twin flame that maybe you didn't even see coming. For some of you guys, this hits you out of nowhere, like completely out of nowhere where you're like, where did this just come from? It's almost like it fell into your lap. All right. How does this top energy feel romantically about Virgo? How does this top energy? Okay. Damn. Six of Cups reverse. That flipped out. Wheel of Fortune. Three of Swords. King of Swords. I think that this person knows you're done. 
if you want me to be honest, like, I think that they know that it's a wrap, right? I, I, I think that they know that for whatever the reasoning is, like their games that they used to play on you, I, I don't think that they're no longer working. I think that you see right through their bullshit. And I feel like right now you're being very cutthroat. Like you're being very um, analytical to them. There's a lack of emotions on your end. I, I think that you see through whatever they were bullshitting you about. I also think too, you feel like they know that they've betrayed you, that they've lied to you, right? To a swords, that they were going back and forth between two people. I also think too, with the three of swords, there's a completion, right? There's a completion of the initial phase between you and them where there was a new beginning, right? They had the potential of doing something with this new beginning with you that they chose not to. And I think that this person was too comfortable living in the past. And I feel like, I don't know why. And I know that these cards aren't saying this. So I apologize if, if I'm going off on a tangent, but I feel like this person was happy having their cake and eating it too. Like they were okay going between you and them and they were happy with where things were like, like, like they didn't want to change it because they couldn't decide. And, and there was a level of selfish energy behind them. I definitely feel like you've surprised them because there is some type of release here with this six of cups. And I feel like there's a level of guilt and betrayal where it's like, instead of moving towards some type of solution, it's the opposite, right? It's like you have the wheel of fortune, but it's stuck between the three of swords and the six of cups reverse. It's like they're being forced to move on and they view you in a light right now where it's some type of turning point and you're moving forward without them. They feel like you're not interested in reconciling the situation any further. Like you don't want to do it anymore. Like that's the past, like you're releasing the past, you're moving forward from the past and you're accepting the fact that this situation may be completely over. I feel romantically about Virgo. Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Chariot. I think that they know, Virgo, that you're somebody like you're a catch. Like, they know that. They know that being in a relationship with you, that they would have everything, right? I, I feel like they know that. I, I feel like with you comes a level of stability, a level of foundation, right? There's so much here where you and this person can grow and evolve, but I feel like this person is too busy running away and running game than staying and doing the right thing. It's like when they have the when they have the potential of doing the right thing, they do the opposite. It's like there's a level of self-sabotage, I feel like, on this person's end. I feel like it has to do with their maturity. And for some of you guys, I definitely feel like, you know, you're somebody that's irreplaceable to them. They, they can't replace you and they know that. But at the same point in time, I feel like they're not willing to open up and really allow you to come in. I don't know why, honestly, like it's bizarre, but I also feel like there's jealousy. Like, I feel like this person is jealous of you because you're able to move on and they're not. What about this newer energy? How does this newer energy feel romantically about Virgo? How does this newer energy feel romantically? Okay, star, beautiful. Seven of swords, the hierophant and the queen of swords. This is kind of interesting and interesting. It's a lot of Aquarius energy. I feel like this person is kind of, if you want me to be honest, I think part of them is like, why are you single? Because I don't get a negative energy with this. Like how would Virgo feel about this seven of swords? I don't feel like you would feel bad about it. The moon, the tower, the sun, the ton of cups. You see, like, I don't feel like this is a negative thing, to be honest, which is weird because usually the seven of swords to me is a negative card. I feel like this person is very curious about you. 
Like, I feel like they think about you. I think that they're curious about you. You may even meet this person at work, but I also feel like for some of you guys, you meet this person online or maybe even through a friend, some type of hookup through a friend, possibly. But I do feel like there's a lot of communication back and forth. I don't know why, but I also got healing. I feel like you and this person are getting to know one another. I feel like they find you interesting. I think that they find you as somebody that they want to get to know. You're very clear. You're very direct with them, which they appreciate. But I feel like for them, it's like, what are they not telling me? Like when you meet this person, they're going to, they're immediately going to be kind of like, they may even feel like you, like they come across undetached or not detached emotionally. And they may not want to attach emotionally to you. How would this make Virgo feel? Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, the Devil. I feel like this person, whoever, whoever is going to be coming into your life, Virgo, I feel like they've been hurt in the past. So they're very guarded. I feel like this person has recently got gotten out of um, a bad situation that's caused a level of destruction in their life. So they may be very guarded. So when it comes to you, it's like they're moving a little bit slow. There you are, Nine of Pentacles. I also feel like they're curious if you're really single. Because I feel like one of you guys wants to move faster than the other person. I feel like, Virgo, you're going to want to move quicker with this person than maybe what this person wants to do. Because this person is very methodical with how they do things. But I also think, too, with this person, it's like they're taking a step back and they're looking at you and they're reviewing it and they're kind of like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why, but I feel like with, with the judgment here, it's almost like, you know, aliens coming out of the sky. It's like, it's almost like too good to be true or like, is this really happening? It's like one of those moments. Like, what the hell? I also feel like, too, they don't want any confusion. And if there is a level of confusion with you, I do feel like this person is going to walk away because their guards are already up here. I also feel like, too, they're going to be very, very attracted to you, especially with Mars and Leo. And for me, when I see Mars and Leo, th that's one of the most sexual cards in the deck. And I feel like there's a level of action that wants to be taken, but it's like they're very protective of their energy. So I feel like this person at times is going to give you mixed signals. What's the current um, block between Virgo and this top energy romantically? What's the current block between Virgo and this top energy? Ten of Swords. I mean, the Sun, possibly a Leo or a Gemini or a Scorpio, or a Cancer. I mean, I'm going to be honest, there's no stability here. I think there's somebody that's very selfish that is all about themselves. I think that there's a level of insecurity on their part. I feel like with the Ten of Swords, too much has happened between you and them, where it's almost like somebody can't take it any further. Somebody can't take it any longer with the betrayal, right? Um, also, too... There's a lot of emotions that are tied in here. It's like somebody was waiting for somebody to do the right thing, but somebody didn't. I also feel like somebody is very focused on what they've lost. Like somebody's like, no, 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 no. You played me. Like, I'm not going to do this again. It's heavy emotional energy. It, 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 somebody here is very emotional. Because I feel like somebody lied. I feel like definitely like somebody lied and somebody's refusing to apologize because of their ego, right? When you have the sun as a block, it's an ego. 
this is an ego situation. This is somebody that has a huge ego that's incapable of apologizing, that's incapable of saying, hey, I was wrong. This is somebody who's not confident, right? What's the opposite of Leo, right? Somebody that's not loyal, somebody that's not confident, somebody that's an egomaniac, right? That's the opposite of the sun. Somebody that's not happy, somebody that's going through a darker phase of their life. I feel like there was a situation that needed to end and this person refused to end it. I feel like that's ultimately what the block is. I also feel like too, for you, Virgo, somebody here has an emotional uh, imbalance. Like, I don't know if they're depressed, if they have a personality disorder, but there's some type of chemical imbalance inside their mind that just doesn't, I don't know why, but I keep hearing like this person needs like therapy or medicine. There's things that have happened in their childhood with their mother that they've not addressed yet, that they've ignored. I don't know, mommy issues possibly. I don't know why I just heard that. Like there's some type of mother that's, that, that's caused a level of pain with this person that they've not addressed yet. That's why, like, for me, to keep it real, like, I always want to know what triggers something. I feel like you guys are the same way because we're, we're both Mercury, right? But, like, what triggered it? When somebody acts a certain way, when somebody can't settle down, when somebody needs multiple partners, that's not because that's how they are. Something made them that way, right? What action or what event happened that made that person that way? And it's really about identifying it, talking about it, so that you can move forward. And I feel like this person, they've not accepted what's happened in the past, which creates them to destroy every single relationship that they've been in. Because it's something that's deep down inside them or inside you that's stopping the growth with inside of anything. And that's what's breaking their, um, their uh, insecurity. There's insecurity. There's an issue when it comes to um, love, when it comes to attachment. They have a negative way of attaching to things. They play games. This is all their way of manipulating a situation and having it so that they're always in control because this person has a control issue. It's like they would rather screw you over before you screw them. What about this bottom energy? What's currently blocking this bottom energy romantically? Queen of Swords, the Hierophant. Somebody may be in a relationship. Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups. There's somebody here that somebody has to walk away from. It can be you, Virgo. It can be a, Li uh, a Libra or a Virgo. Um, it can be a Taurus. It can be a Leo, Pisces energy. Somebody may need to walk away from one of these people, right? Somebody's also very guarded when it comes to them emotionally. I also feel like with the Hierophant here, for some of you guys, it may be this person's belief system, how they believe, how they think, but also too, Queen of Swords. I don't know why, but I feel like this person is very different. It's like they communicate in a different way. I don't know why I'm getting that. I just get that this person is very guarded and they move very slowly. That's what I'm getting strongly. Like, they have a lot of fears from their past, right? For some reason, the Hierophant to me is like a past that still linger. But it's like they want to get to know you, but they don't want to rush in. It's like they want to take their time. Because I also feel like there's a level of healing that this person is going through. Because I do feel like they've recently walked away from something very strong. And I also feel like there is some type of immaturity that this person is needing to get over prior to you and this person being together. And there may even be some type of family issues or some type of family responsibility that's holding them back. And that could even be a marriage or some type of commitment. It could be an issue with children. Maybe somebody has a sick kid or something like that. But there's something here that's definitely holding the relationship back. Somebody is just very defensive. And it's like somebody is trying to portray that they're stronger than what they really are. It's almost like this person is like, I'm fine. I don't need anything. But in reality, it's like that person does need something. That person needs, you know, a level of love, a level of companionship. And I feel like this person, 
this bottom energy, I feel like there's somebody that does everything by themselves on a constant basis. So the idea of allowing somebody else to step in and assist, I feel like that scares them for some reason. I don't know why, but I get that strongly. I apologize. I have to drink tea or else I won't have a voice. All right. Um, what is this person's romantic intentions with Virgo? This top energy. Well, these cards just wanted to fall out. Okay. So we have the Page of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. And we also have the Knight of Swords. I feel like this person wants to send you a message. I feel like they want to communi communicate with you in order for you to get back on their same page. But with the Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Four of Cups, I don't know why, but I get a level of like emotional manipulation. You have the Magician, you have the Five of Swords, and you have the Three of Cups. It's like this person wants you right where they have you, but it's like they're not willing to give you what you want. But they'll tell you whatever they need to tell you in order to win. They'll tell you whatever they need to tell you because I feel like right now they're worried about losing you. They're worried that maybe it's too late to make something right between you and them. I also feel like, too, it's like this person doesn't want to be alone. The idea of being alone scares them. And I feel like they're a player. So again, three of cups. It's like they try to keep a level of emotional distance, right? Four of cups, page of cups. It's like they don't want to commit to you. But at the same point in time, it's like they want to play the field, but they'll tell you whatever they need to in order to manipulate a situation. And they may even call this a friendship. Well, let's just be friends, right? Friends with benefits friends with benefits in order to keep this weird like love triangle going because here's the problem they're manipulating a new beginning with you right five of swords conflict fluctuation they're creating instabilities with inside of your relationship that they're creating it's like that person who lights a field on fire and then goes and's like Oh my God, my house burned down. Woe is me. Like, bro, you lit the field on fire. Like, this is your fault, right? But it's like, they want everybody to feel bad for them. So they manipulate the situation where people are like, oh my God, let's go help Bob because his whole house burned down. In reality, Bob burnt the house down for the insurance money. So I feel like this person has a way of twisting words. This person has a way of manipulating situations in order to get what they want. And I feel like this person wants some type of open relationship where they still want you as a friend, but they don't want anything more from you. And they want to keep open communication because they want to keep you stuck in this four cups type of energy. What about this bottom energy? What do they want romantically from Virgo? What are their intentions romantically with Virgo? Okay, judgment. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Fool. So I feel like this person wants something to be open enough where they go with the flow, right? The Fool, to me, is a card where it's like, let's just see where things go. Like, this person is open. I feel like they want to plan, you know, on seeing you. I feel like they want to plan certain dates with you right now. As far as anything serious, I don't feel like you know this person well enough to start planning something. Um, I definitely feel like they want to see you. They feel good when they talk to you. I also think here with judgment, to me, that's a very interesting energy. It's like they're very curious of you. They, they, they want to physically see you. And I feel like they have a weird connection to you. Six of Cups. Like this may even be like a past life connection that's coming back around. Like when you and this person connect, because I feel like for some of you guys, you've not connected with them, but you will. When you connect with this person, it's a very different kind of energy. It's an energy where you feel like you've known this person for a period of time. 
but I feel like this person wants to go with the flow. I think that they want to start planning, you know, what's to come with you and them. I think that there's a level of balance here that they want. I think that they want a level of duality. They want harmony. Um, they want to have something that's very whole. If you, if you want me to be honest, like these are all even numbers, right? Zero, you have twos, you have two twos and you have a six. So there's something here where it's like creating balance, right? With inside of this situation where you're, you're both left whole. It's, it, it's like not one is taking from the other. And I also feel like too, with the six here, there's a lot of adjustments and alignments that are coming in within this relationship where this person wants to move away from any type of toxic or karmic issues and come forward to some type of solution. I don't know. I feel like this person's energy is very light. Three more cards, please, for what this person's intentions are. It's like they want to get to know you. Four of Wands, Death, and the Hangman. I feel like this person has been alone for a period of time. Even if they've been in a relationship with somebody, for some reason, I feel like this person feels alone. Like, I feel like this person is tired of being alone and they want some type of companion. How would Virgo feel about this? The Wheel of Fortune. It's changing. It's something totally different than I feel like what you're used to. That's coming in very strongly. It's like this person is tired of waiting for their person and it's like they're ready to move towards something. Okay. For the comment section below, what I, what I want you guys um, to put is... Um, I'm ready because I feel like this bottom person, I feel like they're going to be ready for you. Like, I feel like you both are going to be ready for each other. So I'm ready um, because I feel like genuinely, I feel like this energy up here is such a turnoff for you that when you meet this person, I feel like it's going to be like a breath of fresh air. All right. What's the best potential outcome between Virgo and this top energy romantically? Okay. Over the next couple of weeks, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, Eight of Swords, or Eight of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like there's going to be a lack of communication for a period of time. Maybe the first week, this person may reach out to you, but there's going to be a level of lies. Somebody is stalking or watching you very, very heavily. Um, and then I feel like this person is going to reach out eventually. And I think that they're going to want to communicate that, they're, that they want to work on things with you. The problem is, is I feel like they're just doing it because they feel you breaking away, right? You still have that seven of swords. So I feel like for you guys, you're going to be taking a step back from this person and really assessing and, and evaluating what path you want to take. Because I think that with this person, it tends to be a very lonely one because there's lies, there's conflict. Um, there's stalking, there's, there's a level of obsession here, I feel like, but I do feel like there's going to be some type of communication with you and them eventually. And maybe in the second week where things change and it's like, there's some type of movement on working together or putting something like, I don't know. It, it, it's almost like, I feel like it's like two separate parts, right? It's it's like this area where the bullshit keeps happening. And then you have this area where some type of rebirth happens. And there's a completion. Ten of Pentacles. Like maybe you and this person try to work towards a relationship. But I feel like it's because this person senses you somewhere else. And what about this bottom energy? What about this bottom energy? What's the best potential outcome for Virgo in this bottom energy? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Strength. And the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you and this person both continue to con contribute and getting to know one another, talking to one another, 
um, seeing where you and them can move forward. I feel like there's a lot of energy between the two of you where somebody is very focused. Like Virgo, you, you have two people that are going to be very focused on you. What are you doing? How are you moving? Those kind of things. And I definitely feel like with the two of pentacles here, at the end, Virgo, you're going to have to make a decision on what you want to do, what who you want to be with, because I definitely feel like there is some type of decision here. Yeah. And there's also a lesson. It's like whatever you put into this person is going to move forward. But be careful because there's a lot of hidden lies here that what's being said, right? The moon and Mercury, things are being hidden by what's being communicated and how this person is moving forward. Where here you have Saturn, Mercury, the sun, and Jupiter. There is an option here, right? There's something here where you have to make a decision because I feel like with this person, if things are too perfect, it like paralyzes it. It's like not interesting to you. So there's a choice that you have to make, whether you want to, you know, move forward with them or if you want to stay going back and forth between this person and somebody else. So Virgo, that is your reading. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. I appreciate you. And until next time, peace.